all right then uh, welcome back everyone in this video uh, let's solve this question grasshopper on a line let me read out the question for you you are given two integers x and k grasshopper starts in a point zero on ox axis so basically just the horizontal axis in one move it can jump to some integer distance that is not divisible by k to left or right so a grasshopper can go either left to it, it can either go in this direction or it can go reverse basically right so in one jump either the grasshopper can go from left uh, and go to left or right basically so jump can be positive or negative both that's what this is saying what is the smallest number of moves it takes the grasshopper to reach point x what are his moves if there are multiple answers print any any of them so what this question is asking is we are, we are standing at a point zero the grasshopper is standing at point zero we have to reach x by making some jumps now these jumps can be positive as well as negative okay so we're starting from zero we have to reach point x to, by making jumps but we have one constraint that the jump cannot be divisible by k right so maybe let's say you are at a you are at point zero right and you want to reach a point 10 and k was let's say equals to 2 then you cannot make a jump which is of di which is uh, divisible by 2 for example you cannot make a jump of size 2 4 6 8 so on right so these all are the numbers which are divisible by 2 fine so that is the question let's just see how is the input and output expected the first line anyway a uh, single integer t the number of test cases and only line of each test case consists of two integers x and k and the constraints are given k greater than equals to 2 now one thing is obvious right uh, k has to be greater than equals to 2 uh, k cannot be 1 right uh, why k cannot be 1 because the jumps cannot be uh, divisible by k right so if k is sometimes 1 like every number is divisible by 1 then you won't be able to make any jump so that's why they had to give k greater than equals to 2 right uh, one thing is obvious here fine so for every test case we have only two things x and k for each test case in the first line print a single integer n the smallest number of moves it takes the grasshopper to reach point x in the second line print the n integers each of them not divisible by k of course so basically they are just asking uh, what what jumps you made basically if you want to reach uh, let's say let's just take an example so we had to reach point 2 by making jumps by making jumps which are not divisible by 2 so in the first line just print number of jumps you are making i'm making two jumps first jump is of size 7 go from 0 to 7 and then second jump is of size 3 go from 7 to 10 right here again 10 3 so the f again we are making only one jump so okay we are just making one jump sorry uh, we are making just one jump of size 10 in case of 3 4 again we can make one jump of size 3 so let's see and again one more okay uh, the things they have given that uh, endpoint after the jump should be exactly x fine each jump distance should be minus 10 power 9 to 10 power 9 blah 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 and they have saying it can be shown that solution with the smallest like for any with the smallest number of jumps there exists a solution same number of jumps as that each jump is so basically they have just given that the uh, jumps uh distance does not like varies from minus 10 power 9 to 10 power 9 so usually uh, like it's a rated question right so what happens in a rated questions is the idea is very simple but just to make the question look complicated they stuff in a lot of bogus information but uh, let me tell you you just need to make sure that you use your data types well and extract that trick out of it now here let's come back to the question enough about uh, how to approach the question so here we we want to reach uh, the point x right we want to reach point x let's just go to sublime it will be better for me to explain there so here i want to reach point 10 right so i'm standing at 0 and i want to reach point 10 but my jump cannot be divisible by 2 right my jump cannot be divisible by 2 then what you can do is if a jump cannot be divisible by 2 what is the next possible jump you can do or okay let let us first check the example when k is 3 so this 10 is x right so this 10 is x so we have two things given by the way uh, x and k right so we are given two things x and k for every test case now i have to reach this point x right now in minimum number of jumps by the way so this k hear me out if this k is if this k doesn't divide this x you can just make a jump of x right jump of size x so what i'm saying is here 3 3 doesn't divide 10 right 3 doesn't divide 10 so you can just make a jump of size 10 only right <laughs> just make a just make a one jump of size 10 and you're good to go right so what i'm saying is basically if uh, x mod k is no, x mod k is not equals to 0 
So if k is not dividing x, if x is not divisible by k, you can just make one jump, right? You can just make one jump of size x. And that would be the minimum number of jumps, right? We want to minimize the jumps, by the way. What is our aim? Our aim is minimize the number of jumps. That is our aim. We want to minimize the number of jumps. And it's clearly very obvious if x is not divisible by k, the minimum number of jumps will be one. What is the jump? The jump of size x, basically. Right? And uh, what if x is divisible by k? Let's say if x is divisible by k, x mod k is equal to 0, then what are you going to do? If x is divisible by k, x minus 1 won't be divisible by k. So if I had something like 10, 2, if I had k equals to 2, and x is 10, so x is 10, right? So 10 is divisible by 2, but I'm sure 9 won't be divisible by 2, right? So if x is divisible by 2, definitely, uh, if x is divisible by 2, definitely x minus 1 won't be divisible by 2. I guess x is only positive, I'm not wrong here, right? So x is only positive here. Fine, so you always have to reach on the positive part of the 0 axis. So that is the main idea, right? If x is not divisible by, <laughs> x is not divisible by k, sorry, if x is divisible by k, if x is divisible by k, then x minus 1 won't be divisible by k. Right, so that's a simple observation again. So in this case, what will be your minimum number of operation? Uh, mi minimum number of jumps, two jumps, basically. What are those two jumps? x minus 1 followed by 1, right? Just make a jump of 9 and then followed by just one jump. So this is the question basically. <laughs> so this is where the question is done and dusted here. If x is divisible by k, uh, if x is not divisible by k, anyway, you can just make a jump of x. Just make one jump of x and you're good to go. If x is divisible by k, what you can do is just make a jump of x minus 1 because you're sure x minus 1 won't be divisible by k. If 10 is divisible by 2, definitely 9 won't be divisible by 2. So if you want to minimize the jumps, just make a jump of 9 followed by a jump of 1. Right? So that's that. Uh, <laughs> that's the code basically. So if x mod k equal equals to 0, then we just need one jump. We just need one jump. And what is the jump? The jump is basically of size x. Right? And if x sorry, if x is not divisible by k, right? So if x is not divisible by k, you just need one jump. And that is of size x. Right? Otherwise, you'll need to make two jumps. What are those two jumps? Those two jumps are actually, let me just see how are you supposed to print it. We're supposed to print it in space separate manner, right? So those two jumps are basically x minus 1 followed by 1. And that's that. So let me just run it and uh, see if it works. System cannot execute this specified program, okay? What just happened? Okay. So, again, here it was x, this is k. Is x divisible by k? Yes. Then what are what is the minimum number of jumps? 2. First make a jump of x minus 1 and followed by 1. Is x divisible by k? No. Then just make a then just make a jump of x. Right? Again, similar case, x is not divisible by k. Just make one jump of size x. Right? So so here's the question. If x is not divisible by k, just make a just make one jump of size x. And if x is divisible by k, you just need two jumps, x minus one followed by one. So that's the question. Let me just quickly submit it and make sure everything works correctly. Uh, like this was a simple question, right? You just need to make sure that you're choosing the data types correctly. So if the constraints were pretty high, just make sure you use a long, long, right? So anyway, uh, it's accepted here. Uh, the integer, uh, choosing an integer worked here, right? choosing an integer worked here because the x and k were very less. Otherwise, just make sure you use long, long. So yeah, that's that for this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.